everybody! So today is going to be another video in my little mini Harry Potter series. And last time you saw me take my Hogwarts house quiz and just weirdly enough I got Hufflepuff though as I explained in the last video I am not a Hufflepuff. I will leave that video down below for you guys to watch if you're curious. However, today I am going to be doing my Ilvermorny quiz to see what Ilvermorny house I am, which is the, you know, American USA school of magic school. Alright, so without further ado, let's jump right on into it. Alright, so, join your Ilvermorny house. Be sorted and discover your house. Begin the experience. Alright. So, just as a disclaimer, the very first time I ever took this, I was a Pukwudgy. So we'll be seeing again what we get this time. We'll see. Do you prefer to remember experience? Ooh. I think experiences are worth a lot and I love to experience new things and travel new places. That's why I love traveling so much is experiencing new cultures and things. So I'm going to go with experience. I often think, why did I do that? I do often think, why did I do that? Why can't I do that? <laughs> I probably think more. Um, I wish I had done that. Yeah. I wonder whether I should do that. Not so much, actually. I'm probably going to go with why did I do that? Maybe. I don't know. Let's go with why can't I do that, actually. Alright. Whose judgment do you most fear? Nobody's. My own. Ooh, deep, deep. My friends, mm, my families, not really, I don't fear judgment from them. The world's no, history's no. I'm gonna have to go with my own. I'm pretty, pretty harsh on myself sometimes, but I feel like a lot of people are, which you shouldn't be, but my own, I'm gonna go with my own. All right. Think of the question you would most like answered by a person or an all-knowing being or device. Which of the following most closely resembles the answer you'd like to hear? Let me think of a question really quick. Alright, I'm not going to tell you my question, but I'll tell you what answer I would like to get. Without a shadow of a doubt, that is a really good answer to the question I want to know. Never, not a good, not a good answer. Very soon, ooh, I like that one. It is impossible, nope, yes, simple, but not what I would want. I will show you everything, doesn't apply, only if you agree, doesn't really apply. If you come with me, doesn't really apply. No, I didn't, doesn't apply. You are, doesn't apply. Yes, you may, does apply, but still a little more simple than I would like, preferably. Only once, hopefully not that answer. If you want to, I do, but not the answer that I would like to hear most. Forever would be nice. Not for many years is not what I would like. Let's see. Without a shadow of a doubt and very soon, I think, are my two top ones. And I think very soon, very soon would probably be the answer that I would like to hear most because I would like it sooner than later. I most value Freedom, individuality, service, ambition. Ooh. I don't know. Ambition's really nice. You have to have ambition to accomplish a lot of things in life. Freedom, though. I mean, I value my freedom. Individuality, I value. Service. Now, is that service to others or somebody like serving me because I value service to others quite a bit I think that's like super important and vital in life period mm. the 
that's just so hard. I'm gonna go with service, but as like serving other people, because I think that's just how the world needs to work. You know, kind of like a chain reaction. You serve somebody, they serve somebody else and so on. All right, so let's see. What would you exchange for your heart's desire? Anything? Ooh. Depends on what they ask for. If you're just like, I'll do anything, and then they ask for something that you didn't think about, that could be dangerous. That which I can afford to lose. Yeah, that's a good one. Blood, sweat, and tears. Legitimate blood? Because I don't mind sweat and tears so much, but... What it is worth. But if it's my heart's desire, and I'm only exchanging for what it's worth, what if it's like a priceless thing? Like, you can't put a price tag on some things, I feel. I am going to... I don't know. That which I can afford to lose, I think. Because there are some things that you just don't want to give up, you know? All right. Which would you choose if you could only have one? The power to change one day in your future, the power to change one day in your past, no. The power to make one person impervious to harm, that would be cool. The power to bring one person back from the dead, no. Ooh, the power to cure one illness worldwide. That would be so cool. The power to eradicate one quality from all humans. The power to know the answer to any single question. That would be really cool too. Hmm. I'm gonna do the cure the illness. Cause it's worldwide. You'd be curing everybody of that illness and nobody would have to worry about it ever again. That would be nice. I mean, you could cure like, just pick like a cancer or something that affects everybody and just bam, cure worldwide. That'd be great. All right, that one's my one. Which is the better motto? It is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful. I like that one. Friends should not demand blind faith. Mm. I don't like that one. I'm gonna go with it is nobler to be deceived than to be mistrustful, because you want to be trustworthy, I think. Even if people deceive you, that's their choice. You can't help that. But you can always be trustworthy yourself, I think, so that one. Thunderbird! Cool! Kyle! Yes? I'm a Thunderbird! Woo woo! Woo woo! <laughs> Alright, so let's read more about the Thunderbird house. More about my house. Welcome to Thunderbird. It was named by Chadwick Boot after his favorite magical beast, the Thunderbird. A beast that can create storms as it flies. Thunderbird House is sometimes considered to represent the soul of a witch or wizard. It is also said that Thunderbird favors adventures. I like adventures, yay! Okay, let me see. Thunderbird Traits represents the soul, favors adventures. Cool. All right, so there you guys have it. I am a Thunderbird. <laughs> So comment down below what house you guys are in, or if you guys are into this type of stuff and are in a house or have taken the quiz, or have yet to take the quiz but want to, or what house you just think you should be in. Comment that all down below. And yeah, uh, like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and um, I shall see you guys next time. Uh, I shall be doing sometime in the future uh, my Patronus and my wand as well, so stay tuned for those. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye!